Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn everything about VBA. And in today's video, we are going to learn about list boxes in user form. So till now in our last videos, we have seen how we can add check boxes or combo boxes in user form. And today we will learn how we can add list boxes. With that, I also want to share one more uh, update that we are planning uh, to come up with a new video every week now uh, because the recording and everything is taking some time. So we are changing the frequency. Uh, so let's see how we can add user form list boxes coming up. But now before moving on to today's topic, if you are new on this channel and want to learn everything about VBA and become an expert in VBA, we share uh, something new on this channel now every week. So consider subscribing. Coming back to my screen now, uh, as you can see right now, we have a small table uh, with the names, uh, random names, and there is a list box which we showed in uh, one of our previous video and we explained all the properties and how you can add list box and work with it but when we want it in user form how we can create it so we are trying to create a user box here a list box here something similar to this okay so as you can see right now this is having the same names which are here on the table right and as soon as I select any name, it will come in cell G2. Okay, So that's how I have designed it right now. And let's see how we can create it. So press Alt and F11 to open the VBA editor. Then you have to press um, insert and user form, which is the second option. Once you get this, you can redesign or resize as per your requirement right after that this is a toolbox if you don't see the toolbox besides user form you can click on view and then toolbox okay but we already have the toolbox so i'll click on the list box which is the fifth option right and again you can resize it as per your requirement once you have the list box the question is how we will get the items in list box right so it's very simple we, there is an option in the list box properties you can see there is an option if you scroll down a bit named as row source right now again I'm using define name here range 2 which is the range of all these names on my table okay so this is my table and if I show you the name list so this is the range 2 that I'm using okay so you would have noticed as soon as I entered range 2, I got the names here, right? But they are very small, correct? So I'll increase the font size by clicking on this font option and this three line, three dots. Once you do that, you can change the font style. You can make it bold or you can change this, this size, font size. So like this, I'll get it. Now I'll fill the back color as I've shown you in other videos also. Back color is here. So you can select any color. Uh, let's say I select this light blue color and inside I'll select the dark color. So as soon as you select this, you will get an option to select the color. Uh, you can select any color from here, right? So let's keep it like this and fonts color. You can change from this option, which is known as four color right so you can use that once you have this now we have to connect a macro so double click on list box so you will get uh, the macro right which you need to enter here so that whatever value you select in the list box will come in cell let's say g2 right so i'll just delete this and i'll write uh, range g2 so very simple code dot value is equal to user form 8 because my user form is 8 so make sure you enter the right number then list box 1 right if you have more than one list box just uh, keep uh, notice of that and 
I'll write value. Okay. So this way, this is just a one-liner code. You have to write this so that the value in cell G2 will be same as value which you select in list box. Right. So now this is a button. I'll add this uh, macro here to show the user form 8. Right. So you can add a new button by clicking on developer tab, then insert and the first option is of buttons. I already have this button which I'm going to use. So there is again a one liner code user form 8 dot show, right, which I showed you right now. I'll just again show you, right. So once you have this, so you can click on it. So now you can see our new user form is here. And if I select any name, so that name will come up in cell G2, right? So this way you can design user form. So that's it for today's video. I hope uh, you are now able to add list boxes in user form and are able to use them in your projects. If yes, hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that yet. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.